Last year, the average YouTube user watched 23.1 hours of content every single month. But what if you could get paid for all of those hours spent consuming content? I'm going to be testing a brand new strategy for making money watching YouTube videos that's never been done before. This channel tried a strategy where you link out to viral YouTube videos using one of those sketchy link shorteners that shows you a bunch of ads and fake downloads and then make money by getting people to click on these links from Pinterest. Honestly, that entire idea falls under the sus category. So I spent a few hours figuring out how I was going to make money watching YouTube videos. And here's what I came up with. First, we're going to be looking at the best selling products on Amazon. After that, I'm going to source videos of people actually using the product. From there, I'm going to use ChatGPT to write some short video scripts and then use an AI tool to turn those video scripts into AI generated narrations. And then we're going to be putting those videos together with those narrations, putting this on Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts and seeing how much money we make. But each one of the videos we post is going to be watermarked with my website that's going to redirect to our affiliate. So in theory, if any of those pieces of content do well, even if they get reposted, we should make a ton of money. All right, so that's the plan. Let's get started. If you search for trending products on Amazon, this is going to give you a list of the current best selling products. After looking through this myself, I decided to go with the Rosemary Oil Hair and Scalp Treatment as this seems to be a pretty trendy product. So YouTube has this handy feature that enables you to filter your search by Creative Commons. And this is videos where the content creator has given permission for other people to use the content. I asked ChatGPT to write me 10 facts about using rosemary oil as a hair treatment, and it returned these. So what I'm gonna do is copy and paste these one by one into Murph AI to turn these into an audio narration fully generated by artificial intelligence. It's time to put this together Together and make our content. All you have to do when editing vertical videos in iMovie is to bring all of your clips in and simply rotate them and crop in on your horizontal content. And then you can turn any horizontal video into a vertical video. But there's one very important step that we want to take here, and that's watermarking our content with our website URL that's going to ultimately redirect to our affiliate. Let me show you how to do that now. You can buy a $12 domain using Google Domains and then simply simply forward that brand new domain to whatever URL you want to, giving you a vanity URL. So over on Amazon, I simply find the particular rosemary oil I want to link to, and then I grab my link up top, and now we're going to set up the URL redirect. But there's actually one additional step I'm going to take here, and I'm going to be doing a double redirect. And it sounds kind of confusing, but it's going to give us more data. So what I'm going to be doing is sending the traffic from bestrosemaryoil.com com to my ryanoscrivener.com website to a specific URL that is then going to redirect to the Amazon affiliate link. And what that's going to do for us is allow us to track how many clicks we're actually getting on the particular link. So all I'm going to do is go into my Google settings and forward this domain to that ryanoscrivener.com URL I created with pretty links. So now that we have our affiliate redirect set up, we have to create our watermark. And I'm going to be using Photoshop for this, but you could also also use Canva as a free alternative. And if you're following what I'm doing here, you're going to want to save your watermark as a sideways file because you want to bring everything into iMovie horizontal and then flip it at the very end. So all we're going to do is drag this watermark down over the top of our videos that we've created, and then we're going to render them out horizontally. From here, all you have to do is double click and open up the video file, click on edit, click on rotate. And then when you click on the X, it's going to prompt you to save Save that new vertical video. So simply save it with a different name. And just like that, you have a vertical video fully created by AI and rendered out using iMovie. Now it's time to post. So what we're going to be doing is using two brand new pages. One of these is going to be a YouTube channel for YouTube shorts, and the other is going to be a brand new Instagram page. So I just posted the videos. It's time to give it 24 hours, and then we can check back and see if we made any money watching YouTube videos. Alrighty, guys. So it's been 24 hours. Let's jump into the results now. So starting off with the Instagram page, we ended up getting a total of 39 views across the 10 videos and two likes. So it honestly wasn't that great, but let's now jump into the YouTube channel and see what numbers we got there. Well, guys, we ended up with a huge surprise here because as soon as I opened it up, I saw that vidIQ was displaying 1.6K views on this channel in the last 48 hours. So I am extremely excited to see 
see what happened here. So it looks like the very first video I posted ended up getting 1,562 views, 30 likes, and it gained me nine subscribers. The less exciting part is that the following nine videos all got zero views. So I'm really not sure what to call this one here. Maybe it's just luck, but let's go ahead and figure out now if we actually made any money across these 1,600 or so views. The first thing I want to check is how many clicks our Amazon affiliate link got through the redirect, because if we didn't get any clicks, we probably didn't make any money. So over on my personal website, I can see that using pretty links, we ended up getting 32 clicks yesterday and 31 clicks so far today. And with that, we'll be able to figure out our conversion. Our content got a total of 1,594 views and that generated 63 clicks. So that's a click through rate of just about 4%, which is actually pretty high. So if it's scaled like this from here, for every 100 views you got on your content, you'd expect to get four clicks on your affiliate link. Now, before I show you the earnings, I wanna quickly revisit the video that I watched in the intro. The good news is that we created a system here that made 23 times more money than this person's method. However, the bad news is that their method only made one penny. So you heard that right, we made 23 cents. We ended up selling one bottle of the rosemary oil at $22 and 95 cents, but I made a huge oversight at the beginning of this experiment by not considering the category of our trending Amazon product. You see, health and household is a 1% commission category and it's often low ticket products. Now I did generate two other sales on Amazon yesterday and it is possible that these came from those affiliate clicks, but there's no way of knowing for sure. I earned a 4% commission on a $39 radio and a 3% commission on on a bed frame. And both of those are in higher commission categories with higher prices. So if I were to try this again, I would pay a lot more attention to the Amazon commission categories before choosing my trending Amazon product. So in summary, no, this is not a very good way to make money whatsoever. Even though we made 23 times what the other person made, it's still not worth it for 23 cents. But I do think there is still potential here. So if you wanna see me build out a ChatGPT website using this URL and continuing this series, leave me a comment down below, but also make sure you subscribe, hit the bell and turn on all notifications so you don't miss it when that comes out. Now, if you're looking to start a side hustle that actually makes money, I wrote a book about the side hustle journey called from side hustle to main hustle to millionaire that's available at Barnes and Noble or you can also buy it on Amazon. If you like this video check out this one right here where I was testing making money with online surveys. It's an oldie but a goodie and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Subscribe bell all and I'll see you next time.